Hello everyone, thank you for checking out today's video. Today's Canva video request is how to use gradient into circle frame in Canva. So let's learn how to do just that. Here on the Canva editor, we're going to go to the elements button on the sidebar. On the search bar, we're going to type in frame and hit enter. Usually, the very first thing you'll find is the circle frame, so click on it. But in case you want to check out other frames as well next time, just click on see all to view all the available frames that they've got for you. We're going to close that. Next, position your frame just how you like. Make sure that you click on it so that the toolbar above will appear. Go to the color button and here on the side panel, scroll down until you reach the gradient section. Select any gradient you want. No worries, you'll be able to change their colors later on. In case you want to change your gradient's colors, then go back up then click on the rainbow button with a plus sign. And as you see, this little color window will appear and you'll be able to see the colors of your gradient. Select one of those colors and then choose any color you want to replace it with. The same goes for the other color. By the way, you can use more than two colors of your gradient. Just click on the plus button and add another color to your gradient. Add as many as you need. I'm just not sure what the maximum number is though. Apart from the colors, you can also change your gradient style or look here on the style section. I think I like this one. If you like, instead of color gradients, you can also add photo element gradients to your frame. Just go to the element section. Type in gradient. Depending on what you're looking for, you can go to the graphics category or the photos category. Personally, I think it's better to go to the photos category or photos section. And here we are. We can see a lot of options to choose from. Select any gradient that you want to use. In case you find something that you like, you can just simply drag it onto your frame. just like that. And basically, that's it. I'm going to create a design out of the gradients that we have here. If you want to see how it would turn out, feel free to keep watching. Otherwise, we thank you for watching and we hope you found today's video of help somehow.